Okay, so I was going through a video um, a few days back uh, about CCNA, and um, when I checked the comments section, I see that a lot of students had asked questions about, can we go for CCNA? I've not yet finished my 12th standard. I've not yet finished my 8th standard as well. There was one student who wanted to go for CCNA. Um, yeah, he had not even finished uh, the 8th standard. The, the point is that, just to cu uh, cut it short and make it simple, uh, there's no diploma required, there are no requirements. If you want to go for CCNA, you can go for CCNA. But the point is, should you go for CCNA? That should be the question in your mind right now. You shouldn't be saying that, hey, can I? Yeah, well, I mean, obviously can. There, there are no requirements with that. But, but again, should you? Um, if you're a student who has not yet finished 12th and you're looking for a job and you think uh, going for a CCNA will, uh, will help you land a job, well, no. First of all, CCNA itself is not sufficient. Even if you have a master's degree in your hand, obviously you'll have to crack the interview and your resume should be good uh, and not just technical knowledge. I mean, you need multiple skills, at least one more skill, which is extremely important and extremely common. Uh, with every other job. I mean, if you go for any job interview, right, your communication skills matter a lot. Yes. So be it a technical job, a non-technical job, because uh, you, the company is not just going to take you, right? Uh, you send them your resume and they're going to be like, oh, we were waiting for you for decades. Now you're here. Please start working with us. No, it's not, that's not going to happen. Right? They're going to ask you stuff and uh, they're going to ask you questions. You'll have to go through multiple rounds and you should be able to answer those questions. So it's not just CCNA or CCNP that's going to land you a job. Um, you'll need multiple skills. And um, apart from that, there are no, there, there are no requirements for, for going for CCNA, no diploma needed, no nothing. Now, now that I mentioned about, um, about, about being a graduate, at least, or having a master's degree, you shouldn't be any, um, you know, any other graduate. Um, you, should be, um, BC, you should be a holder of BCA degree or BSCIT or, or BTEC is also fine. You can have master's in computer applications as well. That's MCA. And uh, yeah, that's completely fine. Uh, you can go for it. As I mentioned, I've been a part of um, this industry for quite a long time, and I've taken interviews. Um, I've seen people get rejected based on their resumes if it's not good and if it does not have that appeal. And uh, because, you see, there's a job opening, right? You think you're, you're the only one who's going to apply for that job? Well, you're mistaken if you think that way. There are multiple people who are going to apply for that job, and their resume is going to be killer, right? You have to assume that. So... In order to make sure that you're at least competent, you need to make sure that your resume is good. When the HR sees your resume, he or she is going to be like, oh, yes, I think I should call this guy first. Or at least I should call you up. Now, the HR, once they give you a call, then comes in your other skills, especially your communication skills, because he's talking on the phone, right? As I said, uh, just make sure that you know, you you don't just have CCNA under your belt. You have okay-ish communication <laughs> skills. And um, your resume, first of all, it has to be great. Yes, it has to be really great. But don't put rubbish in there. I mean, whatever you put in the resume, you're going to be asked about it, right? Don't just think that you're going to write, hey, I am an AI developer. I am the best person in the world. Then they're not going to ask you anything about that. They're going to ask every single thing. Because I, if I'm your interviewer, I'm going to make sure I ask you almost everything from your resume to make sure whatever you've written is actually the truth and that you can answer all those questions. So whatever you put in the resume, um, make sure you put in the right information and also upskill yourself. I mean, if you upskill yourself, you gain knowledge about a lot of things that are related to this job, then obviously you're going to, it's going to be great. It's going to be very helpful for you to get the job, right? And get a great communication skill. So just, just make sure you have that. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions, I mean, put it down in the comment section. I don't know what else to talk about uh, related to jobs, because I, I will possibly talk about all of this in detail in some other video, but it's just that I wanted to talk about these couple of things because I see a lot of people actually struggle with this, especially the youth. I'm not really talking about the experienced folks because they're going to be like, hey, we know all this. I mean, obviously, you know all this because you're experienced, but 
what about the students? What about those who are still just studying and they they don't have any guidance on this? They don't know where to go, what to do exactly, and and what's going on, where to get the job, which company to go to, what to do exactly, right? <laughs> So chill. Um, if you have any questions, put it down in the comment section. I'll possibly make another video for based on those questions. And uh, yeah, we'll proceed accordingly. Thank you so much. If you're new, please subscribe. Have a great day. Goodbye. Have a great time.